Hello and welcome on the Watches TV and I can already tell you that this beginning of the year is starting with some pretty serious timepieces. We're definitely starting in style, in Viva watchmaking style. And we have a fantastic timepiece to share with you today as we had the visit of the De Bitune DB Kind of 2 Tourbillon. And by simply showing you a few sequences of what we filmed, I think you'll immediately grasp the particularity of this watch using very cleverly the possibilities offered by the floatable lock system seen on other models of the brand. So not only is this system very comfortable, but it now allows to come up with one of the coolest watch I recently seen. Yes, it's a debitune, and yes, we do find many uh, design characteristics of the brand, but we get a double dose of this uh, good stuff with this uh, two-sided timepiece that you can flip from more one classical looking side to a more audacious and space slash trekky inspired contemporary side. And I have to say that I like it a lot. And strangely, I don't feel like talking too much about it. It's just so self-explanatory just by looking at it. But nevertheless, let's go for a few more details. So this idea had been developing in the very creative mind of Denis Flajolet, co-founder of the brand, for many years. And it's of course not something totally revolutionary. There are many double-sided timepieces examples, but generally the ones we think about are slightly bigger, such as uh, church tower clocks or table clocks indicating time on multiple sides. We've also seen a wristwatch example, sometimes with uh, two independent movements stacked on top of each other. But here we indeed have a single movement sending time information in one direction on one side and then the other direction on the opposite side to naturally have both displays going in the correct clockwise direction as you can imagine. And to do so, well, you have kind of a mechanical inverter which takes care of this. So the Bettine uh, took the base of their new caliber scene in the DB28 and 29, slightly changed its architecture, added, added this uh, module to fulfill this uh, new playful mission. It's made out of uh, 256 components, it is manually hand wound and holds five days of power reserve thanks to a self-regulating twin barrel. And to do so, well, you use the crown scene either at uh, 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock depending on which side you're on. But as you can see, this is the brand's signature ultralight titanium 30 seconds tourbillon oscillating at 36,000 beats per hour, meaning 5 hertz. But you can see it only on the contemporary side at 6 o'clock. And what a spectacular watch face this is with this rather large polished triangle found in the middle of it, surrounded by an even more spectacular mirror polished part, itself surrounded by this uh, circle onto which you'll find cleverly disposed blued screws acting as our indexes. And you can also partially guess the barrels I mentioned before at 10 and 2. But taking off the watch, you now simply press on either the bottom or the top part of the case and you can flip it over. And you now have a very different watch with a much classical aspect to it with these large Breguet numerals, central hour and minute hand, and a regular larger central seconds hands floating on top of this multi-layered dial and its central guilloché part. But despite this uh, revolving aspect, the watch remains quite thin. It's only 9.5 mm thick with a width of 42.8 mm for this titanium grade 5 case. Titanium also used for the flexible lug system and overall the watch is quite light and extremely comfortable to wear. Well, all in all, I really think that De Between has a clear winner with this timepiece, a bit of both worlds of the brand combined into a single timepiece, classical and fully modern and unique at the same time. And I just wanted to add that when you set the time, it naturally sets it to the same time on each side. No, you can't have two different time zones, one on one side and the other one on the other one, but maybe this will be the next challenge for De Between, and I guess that would be pretty complicated to do with the same engine and would probably result in something a bit uh, thicker. And lastly, well, this watch is not limited, will be part of the regular collection of the brand, and I'm pretty sure they will explore more avenues with this very clever system. Well, I hope uh, you enjoyed this as much as I did. Thanks for watching. See you real soon with some other exciting timepieces. And there are a few coming, uh, just saying. So the very best to all and a massive Viva watchmaking to you. Bye, see you real soon.